How's it going guys? Welcome back to Millet and Aiden's channel. If you're not subscribed, please hit the like and subscribe button if you find this video useful. Um, today I'm looking at the Nespresso Virtual Plus Coffee Machine. Alright, so I just bought this Nespresso Plus coffee machine because at the moment I'm using my French press and I want it something a bit more quicker and easier to go for. So this is the Nespresso Virtual Plus, so this is the front of the box, uh, but you can look like there. On the side it tells you, you know, different types of uh, pods, flavours you can get and all that kind of stuff. So let's just uh, open this bad boy up. Now, um, <clears throat> this is the Virtual Plus. Now the difference between the Virtual Plus and the Virtual Net is the Plus is the more premium version. Um, and you can um, actually, uh, uh, it does everything for you automatically instead of manually. So let's just open this thing up. All right, so I just opened up the box and as you can see, everything's pretty much already assembled and it's very cool that like, the box opens up like a bit of a door like that. So it's already uh, pretty much good to go. So I'm just gonna pop this down here. Okay, so this, uh, here it is. Now, what you get inside the box, put my Stanley out of the way. Um, now, this is the official Nespresso one. You can get um, different uh, sub-brands of this one, you know, like your Krups, your Maggi Mix, um, those types of brands, which are essentially the same thing, but just rebranded. So this is the actual Nespresso one from their website. So you might, your manual might be slightly different if you get one of the other brands. So it's a Nespresso Plus uh, manual there. Um, my machine tells you how to use the machine, you know, how to set the whole thing up, all that sh shebang. So that's all there for you. Um, a really large container. So this is the Nespresso uh, Plus. So I've, um, this version is the newer version because they do do a, a, a more rounded version of this one. This one's the newer one, which comes uh, with a 1.8 litre tank and the older one had a 1.2. So that's quite a large tank there and it's got a nice kind of protective film on it, stop it from getting all kind of knackered and stuff. And you've got a nice metal uh, chrome, does feel quite solid, um, little stand there for your coffee. And it's got a little label on there that you need to peel off, but that just kind of slots in like that to rest your kind of mug on it there. So on the back here, we have this uh, is your tray where all the where it'll dispense all the empty pods that goes in there. Um, so really kind of cool and easy. You can pick it from any side as well. You can go from this side, pick from that side um, instead of just the back. Um, now on the plus, you've also got this swivel. Now what this is for is is it actually plugs in your tank like there and then that's where it draws the water from. But you can actually have this on this side and then, or have it on the middle. Um, you can also have it on the left side as well. So if you are having it right up against the wall with the um, the virtual necks, you can't actually adjust that. So you, you'll have all that sticking out from your, your wall on your counter. Whereas if you have this one, you can kind of push this to the side and then obviously you've got a bit more room there because the tank is to the side, so that's something to bear in mind. You can't do that on the cheaper uh, Virtual Next. Um, so that's just one of the features. And then obviously your other feature is the fact that the uh, top here is automatic and it opens by itself once it's plugged in and it closes by itself as well and gets rid of the pod, you know, by itself. So, you know, just little things really. It's nothing, nothing major. So this is the titanium or titan color. So it's a nice gunmetal gray and it's a matte finish as well. I didn't really like the, the black option that they do because it's a piano black and they're always prone to get scratched and get scuffed and they look a bit nasty after a while. They look great when they're new, but after a while they're going to get a bit scuffed. But this is a nice kind of finish and looks good with the uh, countertop I've got here anyway. Um, so uh, I'm just going to plug this thing in and see how it works. All right, so here's the Nespresso Virtual Plus all set up now, uh, ready to go. To be honest, um, it was all pretty much done out of the box anyway, so it's really straightforward. Um, you also get this, which is a Nespresso kind of starter kit, which has got some of your, um, uh, you know, the most common kind of flavors that uh, most people pick. So it's a little sample box with, uh, you know, you've got your uh, little menu there with, you know, what you can find inside and uh, you've got some nice kind of selections there to get you 
started off. Um, so that's pretty cool that you can get that. Um, now I'm just going to take one out because I'm going to be showing you exactly how this thing uh, kind of uh, works. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, really easy, very straightforward. Now this is what I meant by how you know the space consideration. So I've not really got much space here. Um, at the moment, you know, where, where I want it to go because I've got my um, drying mat here for my, my dishes. And then, you know, if, I, if this was just stuck at the back, then it would stick out quite a lot, you know, from the back wall of the counter. Um, but thankfully, um, you know, you can move this. So I've managed to put it at an angle, you know, where it's not getting in the way. I've got my kettle here and then it's not getting in the way and it's, um, you know, neat and tidy as well. It doesn't stick out too much. Now, as far as what kind of size mugs you can fit on this thing, um, it depends on the style of your mug. So basically they kind of design it with this kind of, which is your normal kind of mug in mind, which fits on there really well. And obviously you can see I've like raised this to kind of fit my mug, because obviously if you have it down there, then you know that's for more of your tall kind of alto, uh, you know, large latte cup. So you can get rid of the thing entirely, it's up to you. But yeah, you have it like there. Yeah, that's probably a bit too high, so maybe put it up there, there we go. Uh, you can fit a nice mug there and it doesn't like protrude outside of the, um, the shelf. Um, but if you had a mug like this, which kind of starts off thin here and then kind of chamfers out, then obviously that one kind of hangs off a bit. So that's something to bear in mind. So these kind of mugs, uh, you know, they're like a coffee shop mug. So if you go to like, uh, you know, like Costa or Starbucks, something like that, you'll get a large mug kind of like that, but it's not really designed for those types of mugs, which is, you know, because it, obviously it sticks out. So the, these are a better bet um, to go inside. Um, but something you have to bear in mind is obviously if you want access to the back here where you've got the um, uh, the pod storage, you need to make sure you can actually reach that. Now where I've got it here, because it's at an angle, it's a bit difficult for me to get to. So I need to take off my kettle there, kind of twist it this way. And then I've got access to this thing. But the good thing is you can access it on both sides and then you get your, uh, pods you can just throw them away you know um they look quite cool actually when you're uh, uh you actually see one they've got loads of like holes in them where they uh you know obviously they've got out the um the coffee in there but this can hold about 10 pods before you have to empty it then you can just slot it back like that and then push it back into place there and then there you go so i'm just going to show you how uh to make a cup, cup of coffee with this thing the dead simple so it's only one tap and then you can tap this up and then the thing turns on. It'll take a couple of minutes to warm up. So you can tell if it is warming up because um, it's got a little flashing uh, uh, green light there at the top. <clears throat> and then once it's uh, warmed up, it'll be completely steady. And then you can tap it up again, and then it will release the last pod you used into the, the uh, storage unit at the back, and then you can put in your new pod. So just wait for this thing to actually uh, warm up. There we go, All right? And then you can open it up like that, dead simple. It's just dispensed the last pod in the back there. And then you can put your, your new one in there and then tap the thing down. And then it will um, start your uh, coffee as soon as you push that button. So let's just flip the camera around so you can have a better look. So I'm just gonna open it up now. It's already heated up. You get your coffee pod. Um, this is like a Grand Lungo kind of size. You come in like, in loads of different sizes. Pop that in there. Now I'm just going to use a glass here so you can actually see what the coffee looks like. Let's get a sugar cube in there. <coughs> Chuck that in so we're all ready to go. Now this is putting in the milk first, which you can do. Again, you just tap that, put it down and it's got the, uh, the pod prime there ready to go. Um, so all you've got to do is tap the button there and it will just um, start making the coffee. So like I said, this is a version where I've put the milk in first. You can always put the milk in after. Um, it's up to you. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. Or you could use, if you had separately, the Aerochino, you can put that in there as well. Then, you know, you can just give the thing a bit of a stir afterwards. Now, hopefully, because obviously this is a see-through glass, so you can actually see what the coffee looks like. It won't overflow. <laughs> so if it does, you can always stop the button, uh, you can stop the pouring whenever you want, but just by pressing the button there and it will stop it. But you get a nice crema there as well, that foam layer um, forming there. As the pod spins around, it gives you that effect. All right, so that's the coffee all made there. So you can, as you can see, 
Um, you've got the nice foam layer at the top there. You've got your uh, coffee um, layer, and obviously you've got your milk layer because I put in my milk first. And the uh, the crema that they do give you is actually really smooth, quite dense as well. Um, so let's see if I can just uh, focus on that. Yeah, um, you know it is quite a dense kind of look, quite smooth. All right, if I get my spoon here and just give that a bit of a stir, stir in that milk and it's kind of ready to go. And Nespresso themselves have their own recycling scheme for the pods as well because they're made out of um, uh, aluminium. So uh, they are recyclable. So they send you this bag whenever you place an order, it's free. And you can just literally just get your container of used pods, chuck them in there. Um, you have to wash that out afterwards and you get bits of drips of coffee in it. And then once this thing is full, it can hold about, I think, 65 virtual plus pods in it. Once that thing's full, um, when they drop off your new pods or when you place a new order, they can come and collect that at the same time, or you can drop it off an espresso shop or a collect plus drop off point. Okay, so here's the cup of coffee, all kind of ready to go. Yeah, that's really nice. So um, uh, this is the Grand Lungo size. Obviously, you've got different sizes that you can do. You've got the Alto, which is the tallest one. You've got your mug, uh, Grand Lungo, um, which is like that size. And you've got your your Lungo, which is a bit smaller, and obviously you've got your Espresso, which is the, you know, the smallest one, which is like a quick shot. So it depends what kind of thing you're after. It's quite versatile when you do that. Um, now, obviously, to release the pod, all that happens is when you uh, open that thing up, they'll automatically dispense it in the back there, ready for your new pod. So really easy to do, and you just close it like that. Um, yeah, so I've had it for about a week now. Um, it's been pretty good. Um, um, it's not got jammed or anything like that. Some people say, you know, uh, when they've tried to open it, it's got a bit jammed, the pot in there, but I've not had any of those issues. Um, that's just something to maybe think about. Um, but obviously, you've got your warranty and stuff like that with there anyway. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, uh, I recommend it, it's good. Um, and if you like coffee, if you want something dead easy to live with every day, then it could be worth it. Thanks for checking out my uh, unboxing and quick look at this Nespresso Virtual Plus and uh, if you liked it, please give us a like and a subscribe um, and drop a comment below. Uh, the link is in the description as well um, and the first comment. Cheers.